I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey, uh, welcome back. Can I ask you a question? Sure, what's up? How much wood mm -hmm. could a woodchuck chuck? Go on. If you really needed a job. <laughs> like, you really needed the money. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like, it's not his thing. God damn it, I wasted the- Is chucking wood a euphemism for male prostitution? <laughs> That's up for you oh, to decide. Fuck yeah, you can chuck my wood. Oh, shit, you dude. Chuck the shit out of it. <laughs> I mean, and, and he's like, it, he doesn't hate it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna use my wood to chuck you hard, bitch. He doesn't hate it. Yeah, it, it's not the worst thing. But like, you know, it's it's like it's a little embarrassing. Like, yeah, he doesn't sure. want to talk to his kids about it. Right, obviously. So how much? Uh I don't know. A dick load. <laughs> dick load? <laughs> yeah. It's my favorite, uh, it's my favorite unit of measurement. A dick load? Yeah. It's came up with it in, like, in the ultimate sandwich. I mean, we didn't come up with it, but it's the first time we thought of saying it out loud. I'm out of fucking... There's a dick load of ham. That's right. Right before an explosion of clams. What was the really, really funny one? Oh, I don't know, that's up to you to decide. <laughs> it was like one, it was like, what, what were the lyrics for that part? Shit, it's been a long time. Uh... It's, it's- I think it might have been dick load. Yeah, yeah. And a dick load of ham on an explosion of clams. <laughs> to, uh, top that fucker with yams. Top that fucker with yams. That was a weird oh, song. Oh, the thing is not here anymore. Oh, dear. Oh, I think I can just set these off with my bow and arrow. Hmm. Or not. There you go. That's Shit, right. Shit, man. I wanna open that door, but I fucking cannot. What is preventing you from doing it? Uh... Weed. Hmm. Well then. I can't help you. 25 year old Dan would have been able to really help you out. Yeah? Yeah. With oh, some yeah. weed, with my weed not having problems? That's exactly right. My I'd not having like, weed problems? I'd have been like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, what the fuck am I supposed to do right now? I, I don't- I don't, I don't know. You Here, want me to go to fucking Death Mountain? Pause it super fast and find out. Have fun. Alright. Hello! I gotta go to the Temple of Time and learn the Prelude of Light. Which, so, from what I understand, is mm. actually, um, like a corner that they cut. I guess the- the last temple was supposed to be, like, the Temple of Light or something. Okay. Um, but they made it like the Sand Temple- just something like that, I don't know. Every- every temple in the Dark World, mm -hmm. or the Future World, or whatever the fuck they want to call it, um, every temple has a- like a song that brings you there. Right. right? And so, like, there's the minu 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 <laughs> of the forest. Minuit, yes. Um, and then the next one is like the bordello of fire or something. But um, there's a prelude of light, and uh, it brings you to the the temple of time, which doesn't really make any sense. Okay, that is weird. Yeah. So uh, a lot of people are like, "Oh, there was probably a temple of light," because the uh, the puzzles in the last temple are, are all like light. Uh, oriented. Mm. Um, there, there, you get like a mirror shield and you can like reflect light on things. But it's called like the Sand Temple or something. I don't fucking remember what it's called. Maybe it's called the Light Temple. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but the point is, <laughs> it was supposed to be different. It was whatever the thing I said, it was supposed to be the other thing. <laughs> Glad I could clear that up for you. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, that little. A nugget of did you know did, did you know gaming starring yeah. Eager Raptor? Yeah. Here's something else you might not know. Uh, everyone who works for us gradually becomes more gay in their interactions because we are always just getting weirdly gay <laughs> with each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's true. It is. It's totally true. And like Vernon, we just. Uh, I don't think you were here for this, Aaron, but we were- Oh yeah, you were right there! God damn it. Uh... Vernon- Vernon, who, uh, has recently come on- on board, um, helping us out with various projects, uh, from Hot Pepper Gaming. Great dude, known him for years. Um, not gay. And neither are we, for that matter. And yet, he's lying on one of the beanbag things, face down, and just his butt's right out there, and I was like, I'm gonna smack that butt. I just fucking reeled back and I fucking really laced into him. I was like, ah! Like a fucking full on jump down smash on, uh, like open palm to butt. And like, I feel like when he first joined the show, he would have been like, dude, what the fuck? Um, but now he was like, oh no. 
We don't have an HR manager. I can't do anything. <laughs> 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 that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> and, uh, and now that I've said it on the show, uh, he'll certainly be hearing about that <laughs> from people. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Looks like he made a poor life decision. Well. In, in being funny in a moment. Yeah. Well, you've made a great life decision in smacking dad ass. Yeah, well. I, I, I like smacking my friend's butts. I mean, that's the only reason I hired him, honestly. Really? Just smack he had a firm. Oh, I can just cross supple. it. Okay. Wow, Aaron. <laughs> Broken. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't want to get my feet wet. Yeah, so I got nice boots. I got them from Diesel. This is my one pair of clothes. I've really grown into them over the last seven years. <laughs> and they're stuck to my feet. Yes. Also I've, that. I've tried and I've tried. I've, I've even cut into them. You can see you've on got the like side. ancient Chinese foot binding problems. Like, like mashed up in there. Yikes. Yeah, that wasn't cool. Remember bonsai didn't. kittens? Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're just mashed up kittens inside jars. Yeah. I thought that was a really good idea. Yeah, it was. It's too bad it was a hoax, because I thought it was totally real. Is that right? Oh, it's Sheik! That's a sh hey! What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? You're looking buff and manly. Yeah. He's pretty cool. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. Oh, but- But there are still other sages who need your help. <laughs> Where are they? In order to- <laughs> In order to awaken all those sages, <laughs> you must become even more powerful! You must travel over mountains, underwater, over hill, over dale, as you hit the dusty trail, <laughs> as those caissons go rolling along. He, what if he's just like, you gotta go up the mountain and over the bridge, and in between the red and green <laughs> but apple trees. What if the mountain's too high, and he's like, ain't no mountain high enough. <laughs> <laughs> By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. Uh-huh. So if you stab the sword in the pedestal, it'll bring you back in time. What well, I mean, like, does just God not want you to be ten? Do you always have to be like fifteen or eight? Are those your only choices? Yes. Right. I mean, you could just live out your days as a young kid and like do everything you can to like keep Ganon out of power. I mean, that that would be wise, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Da -da, anyway, check da -da, out this hot da -da. jam I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Here's my mixtape. Yeah. Uh, if you know any producers, could you share it? Listen, I fucking... I know you're busy, but this shit is fire, so you're gonna want to share it with your friends. Yeah, you're gonna want to spit it. <laughs> nice. Aw, oh, now we're grooving. Look at- get- bend those knees. Get some fucking butt into yeah, it. Yeah, I'm getting a little- I'm feeling rhythmic. Get, yeah, get Can we have, ready. like, a jazz sesh right now? Absolutely. My ocarina and your harp. <laughs> Wait, there's too much hot jam up in this thing. <laughs> Yo, whoa! It's glittering with jams! <laughs> cool, Pretty fucking anyway. sick, right? <laughs> <laughs> as long as you hold the ocarina of time and the master sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Whoa. Slurp, we shall meet again. And... <laughs> whoa, <geez. laughs> <laughs> My eyes! <laughs> I forgot it hurts when I do this! <laughs> I just hear it like growing distant. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that Eric Andre thing where he's clapping and he's like, Ah, oh, this is hurting my hands! <laughs> <laughs> Shit always makes me laugh. God, I wish I could meet him. I'm a child again. Seems like the chillest dude. Oh, you are a kid again. Yeah. Look at your stumpy little fucking useless legs. You know, Nathan Nathan Barnett, mm -hmm. he, he wrote an episode of Eric Andre. What? Yeah, they're like old friends. Get out of here. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. They have that same kind of like, do anything for a laugh mentality. Like, regardless of whether it destroys your body permanently. Yeah. True that. I respect that. They are, I will not do it. They are true artists. Yeah. Do you think Epona's like standing there in the future, like, and I hope he didn't go back in the past again? Yeah, because this shit. I don't. I don't know what I would do. Yeah. I'm just standing here. Listen, I. It took me years to develop this awesome <laughs> horse cock, and I am <coughs> going back in time and giving Epona's it up, a Mac. Girl. Right. Well then. <laughs> I know that. Like I that. said, <laughs> it took me years. <laughs> um, where the fuck? Uh, oh, that's right. I was gonna go to the bean guy. I was gonna get some fucking beans, yo. You had to go back in time to go to the bean guy? Yeah, right? What, is he dead in the future? Did he die, like, in those seven years? Well, he just- Oh, yeah, and the world is all pretty again. I forget. Wow, that's kind of weird. Why is it weird? 
I don't know, it's just weird that, like, you can, like, go back and forth. That's actually a really fucking clever way they did that, like, to go back and forth between the light and the dark world, the way you do in, like, Link to the Past and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you actually are, like, traveling in time. It's not, like, a, a parallel dimension or anything. It's not, like, the light world, dark world. It's the same world that just got fucked up. Well, that's what- that's what it is in Link to the Past. Is that right? Yeah. It's like the future where Ganon, like, took over. No shit! I- I always thought it was, like, um... a different dimension. No. Nah. That's why it's called a Link to the Past. I'm not following you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's the bean guy. Oh, God! How about the magic bridge? They aren't selling. How uh, about ten rupees? Yep. Yeah. Give me some beans. Dude, I th I'm pretty sure he's more bean than guy. <laughs> It's the guy part that I'm curious yeah. about. Yeah. How about some magic beads? What oh, is he? They're not that popular yet. How about 20 rupees for one piece? Yeah, like, as I keep buying beans from him, he, like, keeps raising the price because he's like, Oh shit, they're selling like hotcakes. Yeah. How about some magic beans? Yeah, there's a huge demand for them they're right now. They're quite popular. 30 rupees. Oh, oh my god, shit, this fucking dude. guy. He's extorting me. Yeah. I don't think next... I have enough to get the next. Well, if the next one's forty, then... magic brains. They're all the rage. <laughs> forty rupees. Ah, shit! I need one more rupee. Oh well. Where? Oh. Where will I get that? God, where the hell will I ever find one single rupee? I mean, it's just out of this world. Found one. And back we go. <laughs> it's like he couldn't go over there and just like, yeah. get some rupees from under the rock. Oh, judging by his body, I don't think he can. Yeah, I don't think he can move. When's the last time you used those running shoes, buddy? They say, if you eat one handful of beans a day, you'll gain 20 pounds in the whole year. What? Is yeah. that right? Yeah, because beans are so... Uh, that's nuts, I'm sorry. Yeah. We have the popular magic beans. <laughs> you'll regret it if you don't buy them now. 50... God fucking... God cheapers. What do you need all these beans for? Piece of crap. Well, so you plant them, right? Uh-huh. See a small amount of soft soil. So if I br bring the beans out... Uh-huh. If I, if I bust out the beans! <laughs> Magic beans! Plant the beans! <laughs> Put a little bean in there. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Wow. Grow a plant in the past. So That's in the useful. future... Oh. <laughs> wow. And here I was making fun of the fact that it's a desolate, shitty world in the future. Except for your one fucking bean tree that you planted. Yeah, it, well it's gonna be fucking- it's gonna save the world, honestly. That's actually really cool. Um, anyway, next time on Game Grumps- Oh, jeez. I'm gonna plant some more beans, and then I'm gonna go... Uh... To a- uh, Stay tuned! <laughs> Yeah, Mom. He said next, tomorrow on Game Grumps, he's gonna plant some beans and, uh... Wow, Timmy. Go to school. <laughs> wow, Timmy. I hate your interests in things. <laughs>